I should have known that you would be here, Professor McGonagall. Good evening, Professor Dumbledore. Are the rumors true? Help us. I'm afraid so, Professor. The good and the bad. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Professor, I would trust Hagrid with my life. Professor Dumbledore, sir. Professor McGonagall. No problems, I trust, Hagrid? No, sir. Little tight fell asleep just as we were flying over Bristol. Try not to wake him. There you go. Albus, do you really think it's safe? Leaving him with these people. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. They really are. The only family he has. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all of that. Until he is ready. It's not really goodbye after all. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter. The boy who lived. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And... Where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Uh-uh. 